hundred percent passes. To Breeze here, the amateur footballer. Hope everyone is well. This video is sponsored by Heckburn Security. CCTV alarms, house alarms, business alarms, anything to do with your premises, virtual doorbells, anything to do with security, these guys are for you. Mention amateur footballer and I'm sure that they'll sort you out with a discount. So I'm here doing a video with a good friend of mine, a video that I should have done a long, long time ago, but you know what? It's just one of those things, you know, just timing and, and like scheduling. I'm not going to say too much. I'm going to let him introduce himself and to tell you what he is about. I'm out. 100% passes! Hello to Reese, the amateur footballer, and I'm here with Devil. Devil. I'm giving out my government, man. <laughs> you know, there might be people out there looking for me, bro. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Devo. Devo. D E V O. D E V O. Capital D. Capital D. So, <laughs> um, Let's kind of give these guys a bit of a background in terms of our own story, because mm. we like we have worked together. We still do yeah, work. We still work yeah. yeah, we've yeah. been friends for over a decade. When did the grudge come out? <laughs> no, but that's, nah, that's real. That's the that's the day I met you. We all went to the grudge, and I met you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Through all them guys. So whenever the grudge came out, long time. Two thousand. My man was doing backflips in the cinema. That's a lie. <laughs> you were shook, bro. You were shook. It's a lie. It's okay. I was shook too. I didn't go to sleep that night. Thanks for kind of joining me on. Uh, on this beautiful sofa. Um, could you tell the viewers exactly who you are and literally what you do with your brand? All right, so I'm Devo. I'm uh, one-fourth of the Football Banter Show, which is a YouTube channel. Um, there's four of us, hence why I'm one-fourth. Uh, it's myself, Man Like Matt, Gaz, and Drifty. Um, we basically analyse football and just have fun. Uh, we talk about general football topics. I am an Arsenal fan. The other three are Liverpool fans. Uh, so there is a lot of Liverpool content. Uh, we do cover a lot of Liverpool content. I am the bad guy, obviously, but that's cool. I got big shoulders, <laughs> so it's all good. I could carry that. But yeah, we just like to have fun. Um, you know, we do our thing on YouTube. We we collaborate with one or two people. Um, it, it's just football is about having fun. It's about expressing yourself. So we do the same as a fan. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We just share our views on on what we see. So how has social media helped your brand? Uh, massively, because YouTube. At the end of the day, that is our, that's our home. Um, Twitter, obviously, is, is, is big for good interaction during games. Mm -hmm. uh, after games, everyone runs to Twitter and shares their opinions, uh, which I challenge constantly. Because Liverpool fans of Twitter are a different breed. They are, <laughs> really? I've, I've never known such delusion in my <laughs> life. So, but we won't get into it big. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sure my handles will come up. So if you want to have an argument about football on Twitter, I am there for that. I live for it. Right so, there. Yeah, so uh, come at me, <laughs> literally at me. Um, yeah, obviously, Insta and, and things like that, um, it helps us to build a brand and to gain a following. And we have a very loyal following, I have mm. to say that. Very loyal. Um, we interact with them as much as we can, and that's the best part of what we do, actually, yeah. is interacting with the people who, who support us, have been there from the beginning, new fans, just integrating them into what we do. Uh, so, yeah, we enjoy it very much. Cool. Um, so this kind of leads me into my next question in terms of your loyal fans. Do you see a, a bit of a disconnect um, with fans and the elite side of the game? To be fair, no. Um, I think social media has created the opposite, where now you see it daily. Fans interact with players, some players who have their own accounts. There's some who obviously have people handle their accounts. But you have that sense of, if I... Uh, I don't know why this is the first name that came into my head. Carl Walker. <laughs> I, don't know why. I don't know why. If I at Carl Walker, there's a chance that he might respond. Back in the day, you had to chase down people's cars to get yeah. them to say something to you. Yeah, yeah. Now I can sit on the train and be like, you know what? I think, I think Kevin De Bruyne is a good player. Kevin De Bruyne, you're a brilliant player. And he might like it. And then you're like, oh, changed my life. If you're one of them kind of. Yeah, if, kind you, if you want to. Okay. So, so, as you know, I kind of cover grassroots so you know i've got to put a grassroots question in there whose responsibility is it to help or to fund grassroots football is it the elite clubs or is it the fa it's the fa both fa and the elite clubs because at the end of the day we all start on grassroots you know what i mean every single player at the highest level started at grassroots mm -hmm. so if there's not funding and there's not support at that level how mm -hmm. are we going to find these superstars do you know what i mean uh, especially in this country and this is something that i feel has held our national team back is that it took us too long 
to come up to standard with the rest of Europe yeah. in terms of Spain and, and the Netherlands because I, I went to Holland years ago uh, to go see a friend and I actually played in Holland when I was a kid. Uh, we did a few tournaments out there and the level of training they had from a young age, I was just going to see my friend and her son was playing and I think he was like six or seven. But the, the technical ability they had at that age compared to the kids we see playing in the park here was just kick and run. Mm. They were literally playing two touch and it was like seven. Mm. Like, this is insane. They're only just starting to bring that in now and the last few or four or five years they've changed it so the kids are playing on smaller pitches yeah. uh, and, and things like that and you'll only see, well look at our youth teams now, international level, the under 17s well. winning World Cups, the under 19s yeah. winning European Championships, so on. You're starting to see the fruits of, of that. Yeah. So. And um, do you kind of watch a lot of Saturday and Sunday Football League? I don't, unfortunately. Okay. No, I, you know what, because of my job I work mostly weekends. Yeah. So I don't get to do much on the weekend, which is a problem. But um, so if so, if like time wasn't a barrier, would you go down and support, you know, um, like a local Saturday or Sunday league team? Um, be, honest. be honest, I'm being honest. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, no, nah, man. Uh, you know, what? if I'm not working. You guys get up too early to play football, and so this is why I didn't carry on because when I got to like fifteen, yeah, but that's the passion, up on a though. Sunday morning, man. Jeez. Yeah, but yeah, but that that's was the hard work. No, I respect it. Yeah. I respect the passion and the dedication. I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't have that. Oh, good. So, um, yeah, you were kind of mentioned briefly that you play or played. Oh, I played. You my, played. My career is well over. So, um, but you know, I've literally seen that you've got some certificates. Um, you know. You, you did your coaching badge? You I did a coaching yeah. badge. I've done a couple. Um, I still plan to go back to that later on. Mm -hmm. um, coaching was always something. You know what? It's football manager. <laughs> football manager got me into that. And yeah, I was yeah, thinking, yeah. yeah, I like this side of things. I have to actually think of tactics and think of ways to, to beat your opposition rather than just, what's my job on the football pitch? Mm -hmm. I want to know everybody's job. So that's why when I played, I played numerous positions because mm -hmm. I wanted to know every position. Yeah. I didn't want to be just central mid mm -hmm. I wanted to be right back and then yeah. I wanted to play right midfield so I wanted to know everybody's roles so that I could use that knowledge mm. to be a better player Yeah. and then I think that kind of just made me think well coaching is something that I'd, I'd like to do because I, I, everything I've done in my life I've always ended up being a leader of sorts and so in football I think coaching I, I'd find more joy in that than I would playing mm. and so I've done my coaching badges um, done a couple Plan to go back to it. <coughs> I also did refereeing course as mm. well. I did one of those as well. It's just seeing football from different angles. Yeah, yeah. That's it. And I also, um, we also joined the five-a-side league in Dulwich oh, as yeah. well. Yeah, I know. I did five-a-side for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, did yeah, five-a-side yeah. for a bit. Yeah. But you know what? The thing is with five-a-side, I love it because it's just so raw. Yeah. It's something so raw about it. It's raw. It. But you see, raw. see, like, that's grassroots football. Yeah. You know, you know it's, it's the raw passion. It's the raw energy. Mm. And you know, yeah, like you do get players and teams that just turn up on a Saturday, yeah. Sunday that just wanna just kick like kick a ball around. Yeah. But you also get yeah, the boring. people that literally, yeah, that literally yeah. take this as like like religion mm. to them. Yeah, like it's almost like a job. You know, for those ninety minutes either on a Saturday or Sunday, they want to win. They need to win mm. because it's gonna ruin their week. Yeah. Oh no. No, I completely get that, and that's how I was. Once I'm on a football pitch, mm. it's a completely different animal. Like, I'm very calm in real life. Yeah. Once I'm on a football pitch, it's a completely <laughs> different animal. Now, you, you've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But just a little interesting fact. I once played five-a-side football with Ivan Rakitic's cousin. Oh. Yeah, he used to play in the league in Catford. Oh. Huh? Yeah. There you go. And I don't remember his name. Okay, so how do you know it was his cousin? He told, well, he told me. He showed me pictures. Ah, and then, when is when Rakitic was playing in Germany for um, Schalke, I think. Huh? So it was a long time ago. Wow. Oh, yeah, that is a fun fact. Mm. Okay. Um, could you kind of give me your f your favourite football boot brands in order from three to one and why? Wow. You know, last time I actually cared about football. <laughs> wow. You know what? When my when I first started playing, my, I remember my aunt took me to Woolworth Road. Mm. There's a sports store there in Elephant Castle. And I got some Pumas. Okay. Puma Kings. Robbie Fowler. Well, I felt like a king. Robbie Fowler. I felt like a king in those boots. So <laughs> I'm going to say Puma Kings are my favourite. Okay. Because of nostalgia. Everyone went through the Adidas stage. Mm -hmm. Everyone went through that stage. Um, it was an Adidas Predator. Mm -hmm. It was a little thing on the foot. Where it's supposed to make you hit the ball harder. Yeah, like, there's the little, little things. Thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I had some of those. But then I, w I was never a flashy guy. Do you know what I mean? I remember I had one pair of white boots. Mm. 
I had one pair of white boots. Okay. I tried to be flashy once, and then that was it. Um, went back to your standard black boots. Um, I can't even remember which ones I had. It's probably something dead like New Balance. New Balance, because like, isn't Ramsey sponsored by New Balance? <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I, was, I was I was going at the angle of Liverpool's kit sponsor is New Balance, and <sighs> dead. That's a waste. We are now digressing sponsor. again in our way. Mm. So going like to Arsenal yeah. and their youth system and mm. their policy in terms of bringing up the like, like the youth players. Mm. Have you kind of seen a change in terms of how like they've done that for the past decade or so? Yes and no. Um, yes, as in our youth teams used to be very, very successful. Mm -hmm. um, we had a period where we were bringing through quite a few. We had Gibbs, uh, Wilshere came through, uh, Chesney, but quite a few actually got into the first team and actually made an impact in the first team. Now, um, we have very talented young players who never seem to get that, that push into the first team. They're in and around and then they get sold or they don't sign a contract and they go elsewhere. We had just one the other day, uh, Mavididi, who was, you know, he had the potential and he was spoken about as being a really good striker, scored a lot of goals in our youth team, went out on loan, didn't really work for him, and now he's gone on a free to Juventus. So how can you be good enough for Juventus <laughs> but you can't make it at Arsenal? You know, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. And we've got really talented players like Reese Nelson, who I'm not sure if he's signed the contract now, but there's talks he's not signing a contract. So I don't know what's happening at youth level. We have all these talented players. There's quite a few that have come through, got really close, and then just disappeared. Mm. Dan Crowley is one. He was, yeah, he was supposed to be like a really good baller, technically brilliant central midfielder. Um, didn't work out for him, went alone to like League Two, didn't work out. He's now playing at some dead team in Holland. Mm. Willem Tue or someone like that. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's something that doesn't quite click with Arsenal in terms of youth youth players coming through. Have you kind of ever ever thought about like the football banner show having your own grassroots football team, your own amateur team? Like, is it something that's... It's something we've spoken about. Uh, it's something we've spoken about. We thinking we'd probably start with a five-side team. Yeah. Um, but it's something we have spoken about before. We have a few things that we, we talk about, but we need to be in the right position. It's, it's all about timing. Yeah. Um, it's about being in the right position to execute it and execute it properly. Uh, we don't want to do anything half assed um, But it is something we've spoken about before. Yeah. And my last question, or you know, my penultimate question. Ah, penultimate. That's a big word. That's for a big you, right? word. Aye. 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 All this film is working. For you, it, it is. Trust me. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. What's next for the foot for the football banner show? What is next? Ah, oh, man, that's a big question. That's a loaded question. I know. That's a loaded question. You know what? Progression. That's all we could keep keep doing is just progressing. Um, do the best we can. Give it one hundred and ten percent. One hundred and ten percent. That's a football. That's yeah, a football so, term. Yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> I'm using football terms yeah, for you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. One hundred and ten percent. And um, yeah, just just see where the ride takes us. Um, we are we are not blessed as some of the others are in terms of we can't do this full time. Do you know what I mean? We 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 are doing this all off our own back. We've started with nothing. Do you know what I mean? We've come to where we are with very little help from anyone else. Um, we continue to do it off our own backs and just plug along as, as best we can. Um, where we are at the moment, I'm proud of it, but that's not the end goal. The end goal is to just progress as yeah. much. I have my own goals in my head, which which I keep in there because I don't want to apply pressure on others, but I'm very demanding yeah. in, in where I want to be. So, you know, we're going to keep trucking along and try our best to, to grow as best we can. Yeah. We've got one or two things coming up, which fingers crossed could mean, uh, you know, that progress happens a bit quicker than, mm. than we might thought. Yeah, and you know, let's have like actually um, seen the growth, you know, um, live as well from yeah. like zero to hero. Yeah. Um, so you know, I've got a salute in terms of like the hard work, the dedication. Um, I know exactly the work that you guys put in. So honestly, like I, you know, again, mm. if it wasn't because of you guys, I like won't be doing my my like channel mm. as well. So you yeah, know, yeah. Um, so honestly, like you, you literally paved the way open, um, not not only for me but for other people in and around our own circle. Yeah. And around that area to to literally pick up a camera or you know p pick up a phone and just and just document and literally say exactly what they want to say. So uh, yeah, it's safe, man. Yeah, it's all good. That's yeah, what man. we're here for, man. We're all yeah. a, a group of creative people. Um, we just got to tap into it and and just ride it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and that's currently what we're trying to do. Yeah, hundred percent. So, last question, please plug everything that you have to plug. <laughs> 
is you know telling you it's all about you. So that's not a question. Oh, that's, okay. a, that's a demand. That's a demand. But um, yeah, no, you know what? Football Banter Show. Um, obviously, YouTube first and foremost. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, share it with your friends. Share it with people that you might not have spoken to. It might be a good way to get back in touch with certain people. Uh, share it with your nan, your aunt, whoever. Um, like it. You leave comments. Comments don't have to be nice. It's mm. a real world. The real if you world. think we're doing something and you want to tell us, look, Devo didn't like that. Tell me, Devo didn't like that. I will come back at you. <laughs> but go ahead and tell us. Um, yeah, that's the football banter show on YouTube. All of our socials are going to be on on the on the screen somewhere around here. Um, but yeah, just to support the thing. Uh, we are genuine people. It's genuinely just a bunch of friends uh, just doing what we would do in a WhatsApp group, but on a much larger scale. So join us, enjoy it. And just, yeah, that's it, man. Football Banter Show to the world. Dev, honestly, thank you for um, um, making this time spare. Mm. Um, oh, forgot one other thing. Sorry. Uh, I'm not sure when this is going out, but my boy Drifty, who is also on the Football Banter Show, one of my colleagues, he's going to be on BT Sports 2 uh -huh. on a new show called Call Yourself a Fan. <laughs> uh, any of you guys who, who might like other YouTubers, like Filthy Fellas, they're on there. You've got the guy from Chelsea Fan TV, he's on there. Uh, there's quite a few different types of people on there. Also, we have got a show coming out on Sky and Virgin. We are going to be part of Sports Weekly. Uh, that will be going out at the beginning of September. So have a look around on our socials and all the details will be there. It's big things. Big. Yeah, we're trying, man. Modest, modest. But you know, honestly, honestly, I, these guys are going to be conquering the world real soon. <laughs> real, real soon. But no, seriously, again, um, thanks for kind of um, taking time out of your day gardening. Oh, yeah. um, and... Yeah, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Yeah, well, yeah, well thank you for finally <laughs> finally sitting down to have this interview. Yeah, 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 sure, yeah. But anyway, hey, to breeze the amateur footballer, Devo, Devo. Fo football banner show. Football banner show to the world. To the world. Honestly, please like, subscribe, do everything with the football banner show. If you kind of like in terms of what I'm doing, just click a like button, like. Don't like. There's like no need to subscribe. Just kind of just press. No, like. no, no. Subscribe and hit the like button. Don't kind of hit the thing. Just, just like top bins. Like top bins. Top bins. Top bins. <laughs> but guys, honestly, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.